Okay, we're going live. Let's get it started. Let's get everything set up right here. Now, last time I'm getting I'm getting used to this live stuff. So you guys got to still cut me a break now. But uh, if you guys are new to the channel, what's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. If you old, what's up with you guys? How you doing? Drop some comments. Let me know how you guys day has been. I'm living in Portland, Oregon. So it has been a nice, sunny, beautiful day out here. A lot of people's outside enjoying their time for social distancing, distancing and things like that. So I hope you guys are enjoying your time as well. Again, drop comments down below in the live chat and uh, let me know where you guys are from, what city you guys are representing so I can shout you guys out. We can get this live started for in a second here. Um, just getting everything going right now. But uh, basically, today's video is going to be about the top five Air Maxes um, of all time. And I think there's a lot of iconic models, a lot of iconic colorways, different things like that. So originally I was going to make this video, um, just record the video normally and say, hey, you know, these are the top five Air Maxes that I think are the most iconic Air Maxes of all time when it comes to the model of the shoe. But this time I wanted to switch it up and I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to, uh, let me see if I can get some stuff going in here. Hold on one sec. I need to fix this uh, comment thing. Can you guys comment on the video? I don't know if there's any comments on here right now. Let's see if we can get this thing to work. I don't know how to do all this live stream stuff, man. Hold on one sec. Let's see. Drop a comment if you can right now. I just want to see if it's actually working because right now I can't see any comments on the video. Yo, you want me to step there we go. So the comments are actually on the video. I can just only see them on my phone, which is weird. So I'm going to try to read it from my phone because I can't see it on my computer. So hopefully this is all working right now. Okay. I got you guys right here. It's not working on my computer, but I got you guys on my phone. So let's go ahead and make this thing happen, man. So let's see where we got everybody's coming from. What cities? Arizona, Houston, Philippines, Edit Again, Africa. Let's go. Texas. Okay, Toronto. Oh, yeah. We got cities out here representing. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to have, I know this is a complicated ass process right here. YouTube out here tripping on me. I'm trying to get this video started for y'all, and it is just acting up right now. So let me pull it up here. Hopefully this ain't messing up my Wi-Fi. Hold on one sec. Detroit, Tennessee. Oh, yeah. Y'all here representing. Here we go. I'm going to have to do it like this. We're going to have to. We're going to have to go like this. There we go. That way I can still see. All right, y'all ready? We ready. We had some technical difficulties, but the video is now finally time to get started. So let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. Okay, UK, we in here chilling. Chicago, okay, let's get it. We got everybody out here. So basically, let's get the video started. Uh, again, here's the intro again. We're about to start recap back over. The video is about the top five Air Max models of all time. I was going to make this video myself, but I wanted you guys to be involved in the video as well. So I figured the best way to do it is to go live with you guys and understand what do you guys think about these shoes? What are the top models and all these different things? So basically in my mind, I figured that the Air Max one, and I'm going to show you guys some photos actually right here. Again, I am new to this live stuff. So we're figuring it out together, but this is the Air Max one, right? So we're going to say this is one of the top five Air Max models of all time. It's one of the OGs. It's you know, it's the game changer. It's the new, the new era thing back in that time. And it's it just it set the tone for Air Max. And it was a great model, very sleek, very dope. So the Air Max one I put in the top five. The Air Max 90 kind of resembles the Air Max one. I put that sneaker in the top five when it comes to Air Max models as well. Let's see what you got right here. Air Max one is fire. Yes. Air Max 1 is fire. So we got the Air Max 90 right here. Then we have the Air Max 95, another very iconic model. Silhouette is insane. Unfortunately, 
I personally do not like this shoe at all. I respect the hell out of it, but I just do not like the shoe because the way it looks on my foot, it's just not for me. So again, I just can't do it. What else we got? The next one, we have the Air Max 97. This one I put on the list right here. Now, again, this shoe is really, really dope. Kind of looks a little weird on my foot. It's kind of long. though. I don't know. It's just it's kind of interesting the way the shoe looks when I look down at my foot. So I kind of don't know how I feel about it all the way. I do own some pairs, but I just don't really wear them that often. And then the last one, I think this is the last one. Oh, no, we got two more. And then the 98, this one right here. Oh, yeah, this one had to go on the list because I think this is a better version of the 97. A lot of people like the 97. A lot of people like the 98. And a lot of people are very picky about the two. Which one do you guys like more, the Air Max 97 or the Air Max 98? Drop a comment in the comment section right now. I want to read you guys' comments and see which ones you guys like better, the 97. No, this one's the 98. My bad. The 98 or the 97. I want to take you guys' opinion on this one. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you the results on what you guys voted last week when I asked the poll around these five shoes. 97, 95. And I can't forget, now this is one of my favorite, all-time favorite Air Max models, the Air Max 180. This one right here, the mesh on the upper, so comfortable. The bottom, comfortable. When you put this shoe on your foot, it's light, it's breathable, it feels so good. Soft on the top, soft on the bottom. This is my favorite Air Max model of all time, my number one. Unfortunately, it wasn't the best on the list from you guys' voting. But that's okay. It's all right. I understand. So what we got right here? We got a lot of people saying 97, 97, 97, 95, 97, 97, 97. We have a lot of options. Man, yeah, so I, I see a lot of people are saying 97. So this springs my next thing. Now, I set a poll on the, on the um, community tab earlier in the week, and I asked people, I said, just pick one, Air Max 1, Air Max 90. Air Max 95, Air Max 97, Air Max 180. A lot of people were mad that I didn't put the 98 in the list, but I had to throw in the 180 just because I like that one so much. But honestly, I would have put the 98 in there and took the 95 out. But I know the 95 is very, it's, it's iconic. I understand. I get it. I got to put it on the list out of respect for the shoe, but just not for me. So I put that on the list. And these are the results that I have. Hopefully you guys can see this here on the screen. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So judge on the results right here. Let me know what you guys think. I'm trying to read the comment section right now. And then I'll list them off in order based off of what was the best and which one was the worst. As you can see, the Air Max 97 dominated. I didn't know that everybody loved the 97 this much. Like, honestly, I am very surprised that people love the 97 this much. Next on the list at 22% was the Air Max 90. And then I'm going to show you guys some photos of these shoes. That way we can understand. For those that don't know what the 97 is, this is the number one model right here based on you guys' votes, the Air Max 97. That's crazy. I didn't think that this would be the number one model, bro. Honestly, I, I did not think that at all. Next up on the list for you guys' voting with 22% was the Air Max 90 right here. This came in second place for the top five most iconic. Air Max models. I could understand this one. Almost thought this would be number one, but I thought the Air Max one was going to take first. Honestly, I thought that one would just because I see a lot of people wearing that shoe. But uh, again, everybody has different preferences, right? Next up on the list, what do we have here? We have 18% is the Air Max one. So that one is here. This is the one that I thought was going to take first place. And then I'll give you guys my top five at the end of the video and let you guys know what my top five are in order from here. But this is based off of you guys' judgment. So this is third place right here as the top five most iconic Air Max models. Number four, you have the Air Max 95 silhouette right here. You guys can see that. Hopefully you guys still can see that here in the comment section right there. And uh, I, I just, I don't know. Let, Drop a true, honest comment down below right now. What do you think about the Air Max 95? Like, realistically, be real with me. How do you feel about the silhouette, how it looks, how it feels when you put it on your foot and you look down at it? 
Does it look better on somebody else's foot than yours? Like, I want to know these answers because am I the only one that feels this way? Or do you guys feel this way as well? Because I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. Like, I feel like, I don't know. I just, I feel like there's something about, there's, there's a few things, honestly, about the shoot that I just don't like. I don't know why. Okay, the thing is loaded now. Here we go again. Air Max 80, Trey Cone, Air Max 80, fire too. Okay. Silver Bullets, Silhouette in a 95 is timeless. If you like 98s, check out the... Okay, okay, okay. Please tell me number one is not what it's wrong. Okay, yeah, so we're not going to go over specific colorways, I guess, just because that's some other stuff. And I don't know, uh, yeah, everybody has their own preferences of colorways. And as everybody knows, the Air Max, there is a ton of colors. So it's too hard for me to just pick, like, oh, these are the best colorways and all this. Because it's just, honestly, I have to do, like, one specific video per model because there's no way in hell I would be able to pick out all these iconic colorways and models and rare colors and samples and different versions and all those things. That would, yeah, that's all up to you guys. Honestly, that's that's just too much for me. I don't like the 95 looks. Yeah, bro. So, okay, that's what I'm saying. The 95, they look like hiking boots. Yes, they definitely do. I don't know what it is, bro. They just don't look good to me, but you got to respect them and love them at the same time, which is so weird and doesn't make any sense. It, I just honestly, I don't know about that shoe. Like, I don't have words for that one. I try to describe it all the time, and I'm like, yeah, you got to love it. You got to respect it but then you hate it at the same time. It's like one of those type of ones. So I don't know. But um, let's take it to the last one here. What do we have? The Air Max 180. That's one. That took last place, fifth place. Honestly, I feel like I might have been the only one. Let's see if we can get my poll up right here. So it says 3% right here out of like 1,100 people voted. And it says 3% chose the Air Max 180. So it's me and four other people, basically, <laughs> that like the Air Max 180. I love the Air Max 180. Why do people not like that shoe as much? I don't know. I mean, is it just because, like, there's no, like, major story around that model or not as many people made it as iconic or what? Because I feel like this this shoe right here is just, just so sexy. Like, I don't know why. It's just so smooth. Like, it's comfy. Everything about this shoe right here, I just love it. Air Max 1, the classic all the way. Okay. Air Max is, let's see, you're feeling like the new Air Max 2090. Anybody feeling the new Air Max 2090s? Them Air Max 2090s is not the business. I don't like those at all. I bought those. I was going to make a review, and honestly, I said, I can't do this no more. I couldn't make the review. I couldn't. I just couldn't make the video. I'm sorry. I couldn't do it. <laughs> honestly, it was, it was a tough one. I, I don't like the Air Max 190. It's got an interesting feel when it comes to the uh, outsole and the midsole and everything, but yeah, not feeling those, bro. Not really sure about that. So let's take it to my top five right here. So my top five models is going to be at number one. Actually, we'll go fifth. We'll go fifth first. I'll give you my fifth place. So fifth place, I'm going to give you guys, let's see, what's my top model? Fifth place, I'd probably go with the Air Max 90. Ooh, that's a tough one. I would go with fifth place. I would go with the Air Max 90. Air Max 90 is falling at fifth place on my top five. Number four, fourth place, I'd probably go with, what do we have here? That's a tough one. Number four, I'd probably have to go with the 97. I'd say fourth place is the Air Max 97. Third place, I'd go with the 98. Second place, i go with the Air Max 1. And then first place, I will go with the Air Max 180. I think that's what my list would be right there. 91's got to be number one. Nah, bro. I can't do it. I can't do it. The 90s can't be number one, bro. The reason why is because I wear a 13, and that shoe is just hella puffy around the ankle, especially on the newer models. And it just looks, like, really wide on my foot. And I just don't like that look at all. So, like, when I get Air Max 90s, I always, like, have them and then i'll put them on and then i'll be like oh i'm gonna wear these and then i'll be like nah i'm not about to wear those because it just looks like just too puffy around my foot like it just it's not the vibe for me i'm really going for it the air max 180 now those is sleek them is smooth like i like those a lot uh what is you guys' top three? Drop a comment down below. What are your top three Air Maxes of all time? I want to see you guys' opinion. Give me the numbers. So my top three is Air Max uh 180, 
Air Max 1, and then the Air Max 98. I like those three a lot. I like the detail on the 98 a lot. I think those are my top three Air Maxes of all time when it comes to silhouettes. What do you guys got? The 270. I, I think the newer stuff, I feel like it just doesn't have as rich of a history. So it's harder for me to be like, this is a top, you know, top model, most iconic, you know, when it comes to Vapor Maxes and like the 2013s, uh, stuff like that. I used to love those, but I think they just don't hit the same uh, when you think about, you know, old movies, old TV shows, different things like that. When you used to see, you know, people wearing these Air Maxes, people rapping about these Air Maxes, songs, movies, you know, you name it, TV shows that had these shoes in them that made these shoes so much more iconic, so much more desirable and things like that. So I feel like it's harder for me to say that the 270 uh, can go up on that list. I don't really like it because it's so huge in the back. And again, I wear a size 13, so it looks humongous on my foot. And it's just not the vibe for me. It does look good on some people. Unfortunately, people get mad at me when I say this, but if you have a little foot or if you are a girl, which they have little feet uh, most of the time, they they look better on, on women when they rock that shoe for some reason. I don't know why. It's just I feel like the Air Max 270 is better on women's feet. And again, that's just my opinion. I'm not saying it's, it looks ugly on men, but I just feel like it does look better on a woman's foot. Um, what we got? Air Max 1. Air Max 90, Air Max 97. Ooh, Crafty since 92. I feel like that's a solid list, bro. I feel like that's a solid list. What we got? Booski. What we got? Air Max 1, Air Max 97, Air Max 98. Okay, that's a solid list. That's a solid list. Anthony Fleming the third. 90, 97, 95. See, bro, you got to get rid of the 95. Throw something else in there, bro. Don't put the 95 on the list. I keep saying it. Just don't, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, Mojo Kicks, what we got? Air Max 90, Air Max 97, Air Max 1. So as I can see, a lot of people are pushing the Air Max 90 a little bit closer to the front, the top of their list, or at least in their list uh, when it comes to the top three Air Maxes. And I feel like that definitely makes sense when it comes to that shoe not too many people putting the 95 uh the 97 is a fan favorite right now i'm honestly i'm shocked by that one because i was not expecting that at all to be in the top five well i mean i fit i expected it to be in the top five but not at the top of the top five like bruh i didn't think that she was that dope 30 year anniversary yeah bruh okay so let's see okay here's a question for the 97 lovers because i i I don't know. I feel like it could go either way. Do you like the silver bullet or do you like the gold version? Which one do you like for the uh, Air Max 97s? Because both of them are fire. But which one is the best? Like if you could only have one, which one would you pick? The silver or the gold? Let's see if I can picture. I'll pull up a, a picture real quick. Y'all know what the silvers look like. Let me pull up the gold. Gold Air Max 97. Drop some comments down below. Silver Air Max 97 or gold Air Max 97? Which one do you guys like more? You got the gold one right here. Here go the gold. And then where's the silver at? You got the silver right here. Which one do you like more, the gold or the silver? Drop a comment. If I could only pick one, <clears throat> I would probably go with, oh, I would probably go with the gold just because I see so many people wear the silver and I know it's two classics, two iconics, but I think I would go with the gold stands out a little bit more and I don't want to be in second place. I want to, I want to take first. So I might as well just take the gold instead of the silver. Right. I mean, that's just how I feel about it. What y'all got right here. We got, we got silver, silver. Silver, 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 silver. No. <laughs> okay, so maybe I'm the only one that picked gold. You know, somebody got to be the opposite, right? Like, maybe I can't just be the one to wear what everybody else wear. But, I don't. hey, the silver is fire. Don't get me wrong. The silver is fire. But I'm going to rock with the gold just because I had a feeling everybody's going to pick the silver. Everybody's picking the silver. God, did anybody pick the gold but me? Sheesh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Go fire, but not over the silver. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I'm going to respect it. I'm going to respect it. Hey, oh, again, before I forget to mention, 
drop a like on the video. That helps with the algorithm. That helps with everything like that. So please drop some likes on the video right now so we can get the like count up. That helps out so much. I appreciate all you guys again uh, just for tuning in for watching, for supporting, for liking, for commenting, for subscribing, for sharing, for all those different things. When you guys do that, that not just makes me happy or something, but that actually honestly helps the channel grow and it helps the hard work uh, see some light and see that there's hope and growth and things like that. So those little things mean the world, not just to me, but to the channel, to everything, so we can continue to grow, so we can continue to get better, so we can continue to get better. Jeez, I'm saying too much. And um, yeah, honestly, it's just I thank y'all uh, for all this. So what we got? Drop some comments. Uh, say what you guys got to say. Ask a couple questions. I'll answer a couple questions right now. And then uh, I'm gonna be out of here. I said I was gonna be on here for about 15, 20 minutes. We already had 20 minutes right now. So let's go ahead and. Ask some questions, answer them for y'all. What we got right here? Go, let's do the collection. Um, okay, so somebody said, Dion said, we keep it too limited. There's way too many Air Max models out there. Okay, but give me some examples, bro. I need some examples. I understand. there. There's an Air Max model for every year. For the past 30 years, plus the different basketball collaborations and all the different things that they have integrated integrated with Air Max alone. So you probably have over 100 different Air Max models. I need some more options than that, bro. I understand there's a lot of Air Maxes out there. Trust me, if you really start looking at the history of Air Max, how many different models dropped each year, and especially now, they're dropping so many different models and mixing Air Max with all different types of, yeah, running shoes and everything. So I need some examples when it comes to that uh, specific statement right there. Air Max 93, that shoe is actually pretty fire. I ain't gonna lie. Um, do I own shares of Foot Locker? Yes, I do. It's at like, what, 20 something dollars? Let me see if I can look it up real quick. I do own shares of Foot Locker. Let's look it up. I own 10 shares of Foot Locker. It is at $25. It is currently up today. Uh, 8%, which is $1.86 per share. Uh, they have a 7.09% uh, dividend yield, which is good because that means you get 7% return on your investment per year, quarterly, split up. Everybody knows how that works. If you don't, I'll make a video about that later. But yes, I do own shares of Foot Locker, and I see some upside potential in it. It's pretty low right now, just like a lot of other things are, but I'm not mad at it. I'm going to buy some more, and then when it bounces back, I'm going to be cool. So, again, that's uh, that's just one of my strategies for that. If you uh, if you want a dollar cost average your way around investing, that's probably going to be the best way to go because then you buy lows and the highs and all those different things. It'll all average out to dollar cost averaging, and then that will give you a solid investment over time plus dividend payouts and reinvesting that money. I think you'll be good. How do you feel about them purple Air Max 1s drop today? Oh, yeah. So I've seen those. Honestly, they cool. But for me, it's a no go. Couldn't do it. Uh, but again, there's a lot of shoes that I respect that I think are dope. And I'm just like, I'm just not going to buy it or I don't, you know, I just don't want it. But I, I do feel like they're solid. I do feel like they're solid. Mm. How do you feel about the Air Jordan 4 Air Max 95 collab? I made an entire video breaking down the shoe and showing my, my full opinion and all the details of that sneaker. So go ahead and go deeper into the channel. It's not that many videos back. Check out that review and then you will see my full answer and everything I have to say breaking down that shoe and comparing it to the 95 and the colorway and all those different things. So check out that video and that will give you all the answers you need. Um, Air Max. 270 Travis Scott. That's the worst Travis Scott. Well, not the worst because there was a couple other that was pretty bad, but that other Jordan, what was it? Jordan 32 or 33 or whatever. Those is nah. So those again, those fall on my no-go list. Uh, I don't care if it's Travis Scott collab or not, but I just can't do it. So for those, for me, it's a no-go. Again, if you can buy the shoe and sell it, make some money, do all that stuff, go ahead, do your thing, make your change. But for collecting and liking and all that other stuff, I don't like that shoe. I don't think it's it's just not for me. It's not my style, and I don't, I don't think it ever will be. So I'm going to say that one's a no-go as well. What else we got right here? 
Uh, oh yeah, yep. Those are the the Puerto Rican Air Max ones. Those are pretty fire. Not even gonna lie, those is clean. There's a, there's just so many Air Maxes that it's hard to collect them all, buy them all, do all that stuff because you have to spend a lot of money to stay up to date with the Air Max game. Jordan game as well. All those different. Honestly, the sneaker life alone is just it's it's an expensive lifestyle to say the least. You gotta you gotta be prepared. You gotta know what to buy. Buy smart. Sell when you need to sell stuff. And you gotta manage your collection like it's a business. Otherwise, you're gonna be losing a lot of money, wasting money on shoes, buying stuff, wearing the wrong things, all those different things. You don't want that. You want to make sure you're making wise investments on the sneakers that you're buying because there's a lot of money to be spent and a lot of money to be lost. But there's also a lot of money to be made as well. Um. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying, bro. There's so many Air Max models. Like, thoughts on the Sean Weatherspoon? <laughs> oh, so you asked about the Sean Weatherspoon. Okay, hold on. Let me get a drink. I'm kind of thirsty. I'm parched. I've been talking for like 26 minutes right now. Okay, so <clears throat> Sean Weatherspoon. I got him. Got rid of him. Don't like him. Don't want him. Don't need them. Honestly, I feel like those are straight hype, and I didn't fall into that trap uh, for wanting them and needing to wear them in a photo and feeling like I was cool having them. I feel like the shoe is very unique. It's dope. The story behind it is it's kind of cool, and I, I get it. I understand where people are coming from, the materials, the colorway, all the stuff, mixing two shoes together, doing all those things. Uh, it's just not for me. It's another one that's just not for me. I don't care how much hype is behind it. I don't care how much it's worth. Again, if I can buy it for a low price and sell it for a high price, I would do it any day. But for me, wanting it and desiring it and needing it in my collection, that's not that's not one of those shoes for me. So I'm not a huge fan of the Sean Weatherspoon. Uh, again, if I ever buy it again, it will not be for a high price. It would only be for a deal so I know I can make some money off of it. But that would be it. Like, you probably would never see me wear those on my feet ever. Like, I don't think you will ever see me wear that on my feet. If we, if it was, it would be like a joke or a parody or something because y'all got proof of me saying this multiple times. I don't like the Sean Weatherspoons that much. So it's just not for me. That's all I can say. Like, I hope that's a good breakdown of the Sean Weatherspoon for y'all because apparently that's just the best Air Max ever and people want to gas it up and make it the best thing. But... It's that it's just not the best thing for me. I'm sorry. Um, Jordan Five Off White. I will give you my thoughts, but just like I said earlier, go ahead and check out the Off White review. I did a full breakdown and comparison of the Off White Jordan Five, the OG Metallic Black Five. Compared them to each other, showed you guys the similarities and differences, material styles and cuts, all those different things in that review. If you go back maybe a month or two, whenever that release was, I have a full breakdown and full detailed uh, review on that shoe. So again, check out the Off-White 5 review uh, in the video on the channel. I want to give you guys stuff. Uh, what else we got here? Top five shoes you would never wear. Top five shoes I would never wear, as in like I just don't like them, and I would never buy and wear, or like I have them in my collection and I love them so much that I'm afraid to wear them. I'm. Uh, can you answer that for me? Because I don't know if you're asking which one. Because I mean, I guess that's two different videos, but yeah, top five shoes that I would never wear. Ben and Jerry Dunks. Honestly, the Ben and Jerry Dunks, for some reason, they're growing on me. At first, when I saw the first pictures, I was like, these are drunk. And then I saw them and I started looking at it and I was like, okay, I'm seeing where they're going with it, you know, with the thought of the design and the concept and everything. Now, do I think it should be worth a lot of money and be exclusive and rare and all that stuff? I don't think so about all that. Again, if I can't buy that shoe for a good price, probably would never buy it just because I don't see myself paying a crazy resale value for that specific dunk. I know there's a lot of hype around dunks right now. And if that hype dies down, will that shoe still be dope? Will it still will that shoe still be worth money? That's a question that I have to ask myself. And that's a shoe right there that I'm not exactly sure about. So I do like it. I do respect it. And uh, I will go after it. If I can get it, I would be I would love to purchase it. Um, but again, we'll see how rare it is, what the price is, and all those different factors. 
And then obviously I'll try to get a full review for you guys on the channel as well. Uh oh yeah, you just copped the off white fives. Congratulations, bro. Let me golf clap that for you. Congrats on the pickup, bruh. Uh, but yeah, go check out the video, bruh. And uh just, you know what I'm saying? Drop a comment on that video. I'll try to get back to you on that one if I if I see it. And uh let me know what you guys what you think about that that uh comparison. I think I think overall I rock with them, to say the least. I still have them in my collection. But uh, that'll give you a more detailed look and uh, thoughts of what I think about the shoe. Uh, let's see. UNC on a toe. What? Oh, the blue on a toe. Let me pull them up real quick for you guys, actually. Um, let's see. Ben and Jerry dunk low. What we got here? Oh, here's a picture right here. Here's a pic for y'all. So y'all can see what shoe we're talking about, just in case if you guys don't know exactly what I'm talking about. Is that better? So yeah, the UNC on the toe. Honestly, bro, I, I, I just, I don't know. I feel like if we were to put like, the little ice cream bucket next to it or something, you would see a dope resemblance. And I feel like it would be dope. I feel like it would be dope. But again, I need to see them in person, look at the materials, different things like that to give you my full judgment. Once I get those shoes, I will make a review for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Do you have Sean Weatherspoons? No. Again, got rid of them. Don't want them. Don't need them. <laughs> uh, yeah, we already had the convo. <laughs> Yeah, the Chucky Ducks. It's, I think, I think the shoe is gonna grow on me even more when it, uh, when I see it in person. Just because I feel like the material is gonna be dope, especially what is it like the pony hair, the cow hair, whatever you want to call it, the hide. I don't know, but whatever you would like to call it, <clears throat> I feel like it's gonna be dope. Just looking at materials, you know, what I'm saying, holding the shoe, seeing different aspects of the sneaker, the small details, stuff behind the tag, the insoles, things like that. Those are the things that set shoes off, that turn them up a little bit. So when you see those little details in the sneaker and that you didn't see online or a photo or whatever, that's what makes you be like, oh, I think I like this shoe a little bit more. And I feel like this might be one of those shoes, but again, I'm not going to pay a crazy price for it because I just, I don't see like the most I would spend on that shoe. $200. That's the most I would spend on that shoe. $200. I'm probably crazy because it's probably already going for like whatever, 700 or something. I don't know. But look, I don't know. I could look it up and see. But yeah, I don't nah. Those, it's just, we're, we're going to wait and see once we get a chance to get the shoe. That's all I can say. <laughs> um, Chicago one off white or Jordan five off white if you had to pick one. Only which one do you prefer? I like the Chicago one more than the five. I like the Chicago one more than the off-white uh, five. But the Chicago, the off-white Chicago five, it the toe, it shreds when you wear it. So if I had to wear the two shoes, it'd be smarter to keep the five. And then it doesn't get as dirty as fast. So if it came to like collecting purposes and not wearing, I would choose the one. If it came to rocking the shoe, I would go with the five because I know it's going to last longer. It's black, so it's not going to get as dirty, as noticeably dirty, and it's going to be easier to clean. The material is not going to shred. So I would go with the five on that aspect. So if it was those two questions, it would be two different shoes. So that's kind of my answer for that. Hopefully that helps. I don't know. <laughs> um, what else we got here? We had 34 minutes, man. I said I wasn't going to be on here this long. We end up talking every time. I'm just out here rocking with y'all, chilling at the crib. You know what I'm saying? Big chilling. Catching up with y'all. Which Air Max Jordan would you want to come? Bro. Um, I want... If they put the Air Max 180 on Nike ID, I would go crazy. If they put the Air Max... If they put the Air Jordan 1 on Nike ID, I feel like it would be the dumbest thing for Nike to put the Air, Ma the Air Jordan 1 on Nike ID just because of how much success they're having with dropping all these different colorways. 
if they gave people an opportunity to make their own colorways and order as many as they wanted or whatever, that would not be wise. So I would say instead of the one, which I would prefer the one, I would go with this. Mm, the six, there's not too much you could do with that, with the color blocking and everything. Oh, that's a tough one. Let's go with a let's go with a three. If I could get an Air Jordan three or an Air Jordan four on Nike ID, I'd go crazy. And I'd make like some purple colorways that would be so clean. <laughs> I'd have some purple vibes looking fire. For some reason, when it comes to purple shoes, I don't know what it is, but they're just dope. If you could have one color shoe, if you can make your own shoe and you could design it, what color would you choose for the dominant color to be? Mine would be purple. The Air Jordan 4 and the 8 for me. Oh, yeah, that would be kind of dope. The 8 and a 4. The 8 might be fire, especially if you could change the little side panel piece and, like, have different patterns and stuff like that. That would be kind of fire. I ain't going to lie. That would be dope. Okay. We're getting way off topic right now. We're supposed to be talking about the Air Maxes. Again, if you guys are just now tuning in, we already talked about that, so you have to watch the rerun of this later. <laughs> but now we're just talking kicks and just asking questions. Oh, orange. All orange shoe. See, for some reason, I don't know what it is about orange shoes. I'm so selective with orange shoes. And like the Shatter Backboard 1, prime example, I don't like that shoe. I've owned six pairs of that shoe, and I don't like it. Like, every time I get it, I sell it. I just, for some reason, I don't like the orange. I could understand why people do. Trust me. A lot of people love the orange. I get where you're coming from. But for me, I just can't do it. I don't know why. I think it's because I like the Ducks and the Beavers is like the opposing team. So because I like the Ducks, it just caused me to dislike orange my whole life. But that's just some own little internal problems that I have with myself. So don't worry about all that. <laughs> uh, do you still keep in contact with Kenny and his is his collection the craziest you've seen? Um, first question. Yes, I keep in contact with him. Uh, that's my guy. I've known him for how long have I known him? Ten years, nine years. I've known him for a long time. Um, and second question: Is his collection the craziest one that I've seen? I would say in home collection. Yes. He has the best in-home collection that I have personally seen in person. I have seen some other collections through photos and videos, but I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, he got the best collection, bro. I heard there's some other dope collections out there. I'm, I'm trying to go see him. I'm trying to make a video for y'all. We need to have the experience. Who should I do next? I'm trying to hook me up. Plug me with somebody. Let's go do a collection video. I'm ready to go right now. I'll be masked up right there like, hey, what's up? Let me see them shoes. <laughs> um, Favorite Air Max collab, bruh. I don't even know. That's a tough one. Atmos. I think I might just go with Atmos. I'll just say Air Max, favorite Air Max collab, Atmos. That's all I'm going to say. Um, man, I'm trying to do a collab with whoever, bruh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit up Jumper Man Chris and see what's good. I see you saying I should do one with him. I need to fly out to their city. I'm trying to fly out to anybody's city and just see their collection. I feel like it's dope to talk kicks, see people's stories, and understand where they came from and how they started collecting, all those different things, because it gives people light that are just new into collecting sneakers. And I want them to be able to see like, oh yeah, I could do that too. I could get to that milestone. I could get my first 100 pairs, 500 pairs, whatever. Like when I got past 700 pairs, I just knew like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go get a thousand pair of shoes in my collection. And then when I when I got to like, I was at like 750 or 760. And then I had to wise up and sell my shoes and buy some houses. And that was a whole nother story. But now, now I'm down, you know, to a few hundred pairs, but I, I like just hearing people's stories and seeing, you know, how they got to where and what got them there and all those different things. So I'm down to see anybody's collection, bro, for real. Like, I'm trying to go check it out. Okay. I'm asking. I'm answering two more. I got to go. For real, for real. I didn't think I was going to be on here this long. Which Supreme Air Max? Oh, was the, the, that was the 98. What was that? The 98 that they did? Supreme Air Max. Let me see. Supreme. I used to have them too, and I sold them. 
then pissed me off because I don't know why I did. Yep, that was a 98. I ain't tripping. So I used to have these red and gray ones right here. Let me see. If, I'm trying to pull up a picture for you guys. Damn, that ain't. Gee. Okay, so used to have those. But I literally got rid of them so quick. I think it was just because I was so off of that Supreme hype. Like, I wasn't trying to be like, oh, yeah, I got all the Supreme stuff. Because I just knew deep down inside, like, I'm not really the Supreme type of guy. Like, I grab a couple things and that's about it. Like, I don't be, like, waking up every Thursday trying to figure it out. I wake up on Thursday after the fact and be like, oh, I missed the drop. <laughs> and then I'll be like, oh, I'll get something next week. And then it happens every week and I'll just be forgetting. So, yeah. Um, I feel like the 98 collab was dope, though. Uh, if I could think of any other off the top of my head, drop some in the comment section. But uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I think the 98 Supreme collab was probably my favorite out of that one. Um, Tailwind 2. Oh, yeah. They usually cancel those. The sneaker kind of is 97. Yeah, I think I, I just like the 98 model a little bit more than the 97. So that's why I'm rocking with the 98. Um, certain shoes look better on foot to me, for me, uh, the way my foot is set up, the way I wear my clothes and all those different things. So for me, it's the 98. All right, but never be here. The Barkley Air Max. That's what I'm saying, bro. There's literally so many different types of Air Maxes in different collabs or whatever you want to call it with uh, different athletes and styles of shoes. I think it's just, it's like, who made that shoe iconic? What song, where did somebody rap about it? Or what show was it in? You know, you have those certain shoes that uh, Fresh Prince, you know, Will Smith, he wore in the show. That made that shoe iconic, a little bit more iconic at least. Or like Martin, you know, in his show, when he wore different shoes, it made that specific shoe iconic. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's just certain actions that were taken in the past that caused the, the new result now in the future of why this shoe is dope or why we need it or why is it so such a classic or so vintage or retro or what, you know? So I feel like it's just, that's what it comes down to a lot of those factors because a lot of people are riding waves and they're not really like, Oh, I like this shoe and I'm going to buy it no matter what. Everybody's like, Oh, I need to have this shoe because everybody else has it. So if everybody doesn't want that Barkley shoe, everybody's not going to go buy it. And then the person that really loves it, they're probably not going to buy it either. Cause they're going to think, Oh, it's not cool if I have it because nobody else has it, but you should just buy what you like. So if you like that shoe, buy, buy as many pairs as you want. I think that's dope. Um, Air Max basketball kick. That's what I'm saying. Air Max basketball. There's just so many different Air Maxes, bro. It's crazy. Big YouTuber. Big YouTuber. <laughs> uh, Air Max boots. Yeah, bro. Man, it's just, again, so many Air Maxes, so many models, so iconic. So I got to wrap it up. But again, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed all of this. Please like this video. Please share it if you want to share it to any of your friends. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, trying to get to 50K, bro. Trying to get to 50K subscribers. I was just talking to somebody five months ago. That's 10. Five months ago, <laughs> I was trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. And now we're getting close to 50,000 subscribers. And that's not just because of me. That's because of all y'all supporting, liking, commenting, sharing, helping the algorithm, doing those things. YouTube pushing the videos out. You guys supporting it, commenting on the videos. It's not just me. I appreciate all you guys. Again, every single one of you guys, the guys that love me, the people that hate me, the ladies, the boys, the, the men, the women, the children, then you name it. I appreciate all y'all for real, because honestly, this is crazy. The fact that I'm like, yo, trying to get to 50K. Now my new goal for the year. 100K. We got to get to 100K by the end of the year. I'm saying it right now. I've been saying it in my head, but I ain't said it to y'all. We got to get to 100K by the end of the year. Let's get it. Oh, I'm excited now. Oh, I'm excited. Let me read a couple more real quick. Um, I don't like no Yeezys. So if it's Adidas Yeezys, I ain't with it. I don't want to do nothing with it. So yeah, I'm cool off of that. Uh, what's the best way to grow your YouTube channel? Man, be consistent. Try to better your quality of your content each and every time. Think a little bit outside the box. 
uh, and then read your analytics and understand what people want. Give them content that they are searching for and understand where everything is going from there. Because if you don't, then you're just going to be making stuff blindly, not understanding like, oh, my people want to see this. And then you're giving them something else. So when you guys comment, hey, I want to see this or hey, I like this video. I like this idea. I got to internally take that and then say, OK, this is what you guys want. Not that I don't want to give it to you, but how can I take something that I'm interested in, something that you're interested in, integrate that into the channel and then give you guys value and provide information, knowledge, uh, motivation or inspiration or uh, a good laugh or whatever it is through my videos, through my content. So that's what I would say for a tip right there. Just being consistent and then reading and understand what's going on around you and what do you really want to do? What's the end goal of your channel and how can you grow? Um, Ooh, it's 38 flu. Is that like, it's 38 flu? <laughs> uh, Slide through. Shout out to you, bro, for the $2 donation, bro. Honestly, I appreciate it, bro. This is crazy. Again, that's another thing right there. Like, I never even thought this was an option. Like, I'm so thankful for everything. Thankful for you, bro. For real. Appreciate you supporting. Like, thank you so much. Honestly, thank you. For real. And uh, Vans High Tops. Next question. <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't and I don't own Vans. I respect it, but it just looked too big on my foot. I'm a size 13, and it just looked weird. So I be saying every year I'm going to buy some Vans, and I never end up buying no Vans. <laughs> so maybe this year I'm going to buy some Vans. I'm going to make a video. I'm going to buy some Vans this year. I done bought Vans for other people, but just not for me. 50K a day, homie, by far. Favorite YouTuber, favorite sneaker YouTuber. you the best out here. Hey, I appreciate it, bro. Anthony Fleming the third again, bro. I appreciate you. I can't, I can't keep, I can't stop saying it, bro. I really do. Like, this is fun. I'm enjoying it. I'm making videos. I'm having fun. I'm interacting with you guys. I'm loving every single moment of it. We're going to grow this channel, bro. We're about to go crazy. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm trying to get to a million. We got to start somewhere, though, right? We got to start somewhere. All right. 50K best in the game, correct? All right, bro. I appreciate y'all. My name is DJ. I'm signing out. I got to go. I'm really leaving this time. I appreciate you guys for real. A hundred. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, share this video to your friends. I got to go. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> uh.